the school on Tuesday the 13th. Yeah, of December 2022. So, in moving image, uh, for homework for tomorrow, I had to attach my script to an assignment on Google Classroom. But it wouldn't let me do that because it said that I didn't own the file. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure I've already like attached the script to another uh, assignment on Google Classroom. And the teacher had called up the, their IT person. But as soon as he came up, I figured out what the problem was. Turns out that <clears throat> I had saved the script to my drive as a shortcut. So I had to re-download it and attach it to the drive. And so it was attached properly instead of a shortcut. So now it worked. Yay. In mentoring, the teacher said that she knows that she knows my results for paper one of English and media. That my media is good and my English is far better than what I did in summer last year. That's basically it. Anyway, orphan. Uh, mixed ratings. I watched it on freebie. Queer Formiga, uh, Peter Sarsgaard, Isabel Furman, Margot Martin Dio, CCH Pounder. I don't think Lena Headey is in it, but it's good. My opinion poll finds that 12 Americans, sorry, 12 million Americans believe that the vaccine is not safe. That is the opinion of 12 million Americans. That is not me stating my opinion. Oh. Elon is very deliberately putting Yul Roth's life in danger. Elon is deliberately putting a gay man's life in danger. Through the magic of progressive ideology and the most basic levels of accountability become a hate crime, which is why elites want to install at every level at, at every level of every institution. And Twitter files really bring home my identifying any content that's kind of narrative misinformation or disinformation. It's the way agents of the state or deep state and their allies are soon to be bosses get social media companies to remove it. This is a picture of beagles getting their vases eaten off by sand flies. Ask your hero about his involvement in that. Did you, all, did you know they also had their vocal cords cut so the researchers didn't have to hear them cry in pain? Excuse me, I retweeted it thinking that that would get the quote teeth pop up, but nope. Come round the pod, Joseph Watson on a few issues, not at least not least of which is the environmental vandalism of London's newest architecture. <laughs> Nothing seems to work in this country anymore. Just spent ages on an ungraded M twenty. Don't they look at snow forecasts anymore? But it's snow and everything shuts down again. Pathetic. Invasion continues. False video in architecture is actually about the globalist fetish currently infecting the Western world's governments. It's rather entertaining. I love a sense of humor in particular. Owning a pet, you're doing more damage to the environment than you might realize. If you tolerate this, your pets will be next. Coming after people's daily love pets underlines the hu- anti human nature of the green ideology. It's by breaking and dispiriting humanity in every way. Online extremism experts and oh, there's one of the yellow verification signs. Well, let me see what the yellow means. Mm. 
Anyway, online extremism, extremism experts and gay advocates have expressed skepticism about the Club Q shooting sons suspects non-binary identity. Hmm. Disrespecting pronouns is good now. Yeah, so I remember that this was like a while back and people talked about it for like a day and then when they stopped talking about it, it was like a... You know, we did a shooting, got caught. It was like, uh, guys, I'm non-binary. Uh, so, like, you know, the game, we were like, uh, do we, do we attack them and it's non-binary stuff? Or we like, no, he is non-binary because non-binary people don't kill. And it's just like, I had the point that, you know, if, if you just say you identify as non-binary, you can almost get away with murder, almost. Not in all cases, but sometimes you can. <laughs> Hope I want GS to continue to 2024. Having just read his quotes, it seems he's seriously considering whether well to carry on. I suspect he's torn between the feeling of leaving now with great respect and, in fact, be a potential sire ending in the future. One he's seen so many times. Apparently, if you're England manager, amplifying radio messaging is more important than winning important football matches. UK government has arrested 0.3% of illegal boat migrants despite passing a law that makes it a crime they arrive in the UK without proper permission. Woke mind virus is eager to defeat it or nothing else matters. Ron Paul warned that under democratic government, young people in America are falling prey to a rapidly worsening mental health crisis. Remember, when it's hot in summer, there's proof of global warming, and when it's cold and so is the winter, that's also proof of global warming. You're using the eye of the beholder, not when you're a soulless communist breeding cow. The branch Cofidians are upset. Amid his ongoing publishing of details, Twitter 1.0's 1, Twitter 1 fast censorship program and intimate relationship with Biden government intelligence officials, Elon further triggered leftists and one notorious deep state operative with a five word tweet. I'm guessing it's that. Excuse my stomach. <laughs> In between triggering deep staters by calling for a fight use prosecution, Elon met with a Stanford professor who had been blacklisted by Twitter 1.0 for speaking out against the Is that what you call him now instead of Dorsey's Twitter? Like, I get it, Twitter 1.0 is faster for typing, but I'm just going to cite Dorsey's Twitter. <laughs> the World Cup winner was decided on who pushed the best, who best pushed the message, England won. Elon says he lost trans daughter because of neo-Marxists, so honestly, I believe this is the reason Elon is going to going scorch, scorched earth against the libs. If you if you're going to the clergy, you had hard to think of a better reason. It's for everyone who says hot weather is in summer is proof of global warming. Okay, so climate change protests are seeming to have disappeared. That awkward moment when you can't tell whether your neighbor has a really loud infant or is just watching really loud porn. Jesus Christ. Fucking demon. It's a 10 year old tweet. Why would loud crying infants remind you of porn? FBI involvement in suppression of American free speech. MSN articles 2. Twitter caught red handed interfering in the election. MSN articles 3. Elon gets booed at a Chappelle show. MSN articles. 238. Being surprised that Elon being booed on stage in S7 was like being surprised at the demon in the Exodus scroll's head being perturbed by the presence of Catholic priests. He's now throwing his own brother under a bus and the line influence this woman has had on him as a grandma. That's what I'm saying. Twitter files part 5 removal of Trump from Twitter. Under pressure from hundreds of activists, employees, Twitter to platforms Trump, a sitting U.S. president, even though they themselves acknowledge that he didn't violate the rules. The man who nearly sexually assaulted me when I was five is tweeting that he is upset with Elon's dangerous tweets. I'm not able to speak up about who he is, but the fact that he is nervous about being exposed gives me a glimmer of hope that I've never had before. Can high school students ever meaningfully consent to sex with their teachers? What? Harry and Meghan betray the quintessential modern modern expression of the woke mind virus and emotional incontinence as if that alone proves anything or makes you a legitimate victim. Emoting for emoting's sake, 
It is also profoundly un-British despite efforts to pathologize this population. I asked this guy to put a mask on at the gym, it's not even dangling from his chin. His response were as follows. 1. You Democrat fat fuck. 2. I probably only fuck guys that need to use strap-ons. 3. That I wish someone like him would touch me. It's professionally been the coldest day in the UK since December 2010. Today's highest temperature recorded in Braemore, Aberdeenshire is minus 9.3 Celsius. Assuming temperatures don't rise overnight, this will be the lowest maximum temperature recorded in the UK for 12 years. We'll have to or want to try and twist this into proof that climate change exists. Just by the fact that really, if anything, and I'm not saying that it is, but if anything, it's evidence of the opposite. Global warming. Can I get some reassurance, please? I Pfizer got my vaccinations in 2021. I was basically forced to because I was on a nursing degree and they said I wouldn't get a job at the end of my degree if I don't get vaccinated. Now I feel constantly anxious because I don't. I know nobody truly knows the long term effects of the vaccines. I feel like I could develop some terrible disease or issue in the future because of the vaccine. I had two Pfizer shots and I'm a 27 year old woman. I just want any reassurance or any positive research or information about the vaccine that you've come across to put my mind at ease. The sheep are getting nervous. They, them, are fired. Sexual harassment on the street will be made a crime with jail sentences of what the two years the government has said. Wolf whistling, cat calling, and staring persistently will be criminalised in England under plans backed by Home Secretary Suella Braverman. I mean, I wouldn't arrest, I wouldn't want to arrest someone for wolf whistling or cat calling. That's just fucking stupid. It's wrong, but it shouldn't be, you shouldn't get a, a two year sentence for that. As for uh, staring, well, context should be required there. I'm sure there's absolutely no chance the alleged crime of staring persistently will be open to abuse at all. The regime media campaign against Graham Hancock's ancient apocalypse has convinced me to watch it. Good work. The results of a global poll are sure to shock those who claim that the science is settled on climate change. Nearly 4 out of 10 people believe it is natural, not man-made. Here we are, going into the third year of it, and we are still in the middle of a pandemic with the numbers that you just showed. Here we are. The pandemic that you engineered. They just keep prolonging it. Maybe they'll never have to face the consequences for the outrage of lockdown and vaccine mandates. Filmmaker and YouTuber Richard Vobes joins me to discuss the quest for England, the outrage of lockdown, and how mass migration is actually harming the diversity of different cultures. In an age of ugliness, a work of beauty is an act of defiance. Can I get a tattoo? You're not old enough for that. Gender affirmation, affirmation surgical clinic. Don't know who this person is. I've ever him before. But he's got merch. I'm sway facing, yeah, sway facing and rifling through my mother's purse for a credit card right now. It don't even look that good. Well, the Obama one looks alright, but the rest, nah. This guy's on another level. I need to take help advice from anonymous accounts on Twitter. Elon and his enablers have turned this website into a torrent of ad hominem attacks, lies, full as jokes, and blatant misinformation. This isn't freedom of speech, it's just dangerous. Shut the fuck up. Whoa, Twitter became the news media? It's like Yule's arguing in favor of children being able to access porn. And his PhD is the thesis. The man is back! Finally! Jesus fucking Christ! It was like, what, two months? I think that's where it was. Because I had to end it early and then it's a bit confusing because the tweets replay section works. But I think this is it. 
But if democracy is the problem, and shareholders are essentially the voters in an ANCAP system, that would inevitably lead to the same problems now, so why not just do a net taxpayer voting system? Because if that's all done by consent, if a vote is passed, you can't literally just sell your shares and invest in a different company. Government democracy doesn't allow that. If you're in the 49%, then tough shit. Don't like it, they will use force. You can't leave. You can sell off. Also, net taxpayer suggests the highest earners have a bigger voting share. They already have that system right now. It's called lobby lobbying and buying politicians. It makes in theory. I just can't see the broad public ever subscribing to such a system that very antithetical to their lifestyle. Then the government education received worked wonders on you. Excuse my stomach. I think France are just as good as England or just as bad depending on your outlook, but can we all agree this referee is on work experience? At least I have Argentina in the sweepstakes at work. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. See, it's hard being an Englishman sometimes. Yeah, at least we're not Scottish. Uh, that's actually cheered me up. You're a good friend. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> You're watching Twitter Blue on Monday. Please don't copy me. asking Bronson outstanding film I haven't recorded yet the watch it <laughs> it's not about com companies hating money markets by people with guns deciding they don't want to pay for things and taking it by force you like every anarchist before you's not a fucking anarchist I have too much faith in human beings, most likely because you, like every anarchist before you, he's not a fucking anarchist, believe the government is a source of all evil. Not all evil, but it is a source of most evil. As opposed to the to evil being part of every human being and a choice any of them can make, humans can do evil mark. Being in, being in government or a corporation doesn't make them any more or less capable of evil. It just changes the damage that a decision to do evil can do. Well... Power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Lord Acton. So, so to sum up, you believe society itself cannot do these things, and if they tried, it wouldn't work. Only government made of people can achieve these things because magic or something. Okay, good talk. No, I'm saying that society cannot support the amount of people that we have without some level of organization beyond the level of independent companies. Do you have any idea how complicated shipping is and how much food is shipped across the globe? Yes, I do. All of that was planned, created, and done by private companies, not government. Society can provide many of these things, but the level at which they will provide them will not be enough to sustain population the size we have now, and that will have knock-on effects elsewhere. Society is literally doing all that right now. The only way it would stop is if companies all said, I don't like money anymore, which, now call me crazy, I doubt would happen. I work in inter international shipping just for commercial packages and know how utterly fucked up just getting one package from one side of America to the other is by air. Imagine the mess that sea lanes would become. Why is it such a mess? Let me guess. Government rules and regulations? <laughs> and all this is nothing compared to... To what will happen when another country that didn't get rid of their government decides to take over your territory? Do you really think corporations and companies are going to fight invaders when said invaders offer them money to stand down? Countries will only invade other countries that are a threat to them. What's the bigger danger? 440 k plus tiny micronations that just want to be 
life they learn trade, or one giant country whose intelligence services are fucking with you all the time. Oh, so these micro-nations have no natural resources, nothing that someone else might want. Nations don't invade nations that are a threat. They invade because there's something they want, and they are... They either are not being given it, or they do not want to pay for it. Okay, I agree with that point there. The governments don't invade because of threats. Governments invade because they have something they want. Like, Iraq and Afghanistan. Oil. Remind me about the UK then in Africa again. Did the Brits and Scots really think this really were a threat to their sovereignty? Yeah, Russia is going to mobilise an armoured division to invade someone's back garden. No, when they want resources, they usually just buy it like every other country does. World Peace 2 is actually happening, Sam Hyde. Oh, yes. Jesus, is that Sam Smith? The wheels have come off these drag queen tours. <laughs> Fred read the post pictures of me from the fancy dress karaoke night. So when is the Mad Lads on Michael Peterson going to happen? Yeah, it's been on the list since the beginning. Issues, rumours keep floating around of him being released, which is why I keep holding back on Megan. I thought he died. I thought about the novelist, he's been free for years, according to Wikipedia. Bronson. That's why the Michael Peterson sounds familiar. He's also uh, the guy that the show The Staircase is about, I, I believe. I'd take a jab penis seriously. Unless. Enjoy this while you can. On Monday I'm free. I'm gonna get it's gonna get delayed again, isn't it? <laughs> Classic accusation against anyone who doesn't toe the right wing line. Marcus isn't right wing. And as always, every accusation from a Republican is confession. Not a Republican, but I do, I do hate democracy. I'm just honest about it. The only reason I hate democracy is to have desires of policies that the majority never agrees with or the Constitution protects against. No, there are very many reasons to hate democracy. Man, is that I don't want psy opt idiots deciding the trajectory of my life for me. You want tyrannical government? Good luck. I should be able to opt out of whatever dumb shit you voted for, though. Oh, this is going to be stitches in America. That'll be $58,000. Britain, I can help you in 38 months. And in Canada, kill yourself. What a quaint fantasy land you live in. Which part? I mean, it costs a lot of money in America. It takes a lot of time in Britain. And in Canada, they will tell you to kill yourself. It's cute, really. Too bad it's far away from reality. That's the best part where... This part where you explain why, I bet you can't, you're just mad about it being true, but had no idea what else to say. Well, in America, if you're smart and have insurance, it's more like $30. Sick for the 150 you pay a month for the insurance. You pay more than that via higher tax rates applied for socialized healthcare. No, you don't. Hi, how do you think taxation works? Not the way you think, because in the rest of the world we don't we don't tax to give money to the biggest army in the world. When you get that when you get that away, taxes actually aren't that high, and you can have health care. Scotland has a tiny army, and yet the highest tax rates in all of the UK, and yet all our public services are dog, sh dog shit. It turns out when you use government as a middleman for services, they just keep having the money and deliver shit. Taxes when you pay twenty pound to get two pounds worth of service. I live on the Canadian border and our Canadian employees that make the same as I do have about 215% more taxes taken out than I have taxes and insurance combined. It's not even close. Alright, but we have free healthcare in Wales and don't pay anywhere near that. 
That's the key. You don't realize it because it's subtle, but things like your rent, the tax that comes off your paycheck, the higher price of goods due to tax costs being passed to the consumer, basically everything you pay for costs more because tax is being charged. On top of it, to pay for these services, there's no such thing as free healthcare. You're paying for everything you buy something, pass for a service or get your paycheck, and trust me, it's a hell of a lot more than 150 quid. Despite this, there's only a gap of around £1,000 in tax rates on a £40,000 a year salary. This also includes national insurance. You take me with a birth price of $4,650 operation on cleft lip and palate, which rolls around $20,000. So if I was in the US, it would cost a hell of a lot more. I'd much rather pay slightly more tax. Okay, you can do that and enjoy your one year plus waiting list, higher death rates, and extremely substandard service for what is allegedly a first world country. And in your life, you have paid way more than that in tax. Christ, every time you buy a Coke, a big portion of that is tax. You've paid way, way, way above the price threshold for the service you received for a really shitty service of that. But if you want to do that, hey, fine, just let the rest of us opt out, pay less tax, and we can take, take care of our own health care. Is it true they will give all an impatient and offer them only end of life care in the NHS? That seems barbaric or true. We all know Canada will really just try to kill you if you get really sick. You literally need to debate your GP and prove you're at death's door just to get a fucking appointment. Well, I guess cancer screenings jack us right of the question. Because GPs. Because GPs were refusing to see people, we are now getting people who have reached terminal status because they didn't get diagnosed fast enough. If you decided to go private, healthcare will cost you £1,115 annually, far cheaper than, than the US. And when 40% of Americans can't afford to see a doctor, it says a lot. I'd far rather pay slightly more tax than so many not being able to afford healthcare. I am private, it's less than that actually, yet I still have to pay higher taxes for a service I don't even use. Private is 100 times better, by the way. Fucking same day appointments. It's bliss. And we have another example of you not seeing the bigger picture. So in America, healthcare costs a fucking bomb. It's become a complete meme at this point. Have you actually, have you ever actually looked into why that is? I bet you have. And I'll give you a hint. It starts with a G. And our, and still our quality of care, even when just comparing amongst private insurance is the best. It's not though. The number of beds available for special services is also drastically different. Any hospital in the US can perform virtually any surgery or treatment from large to small hospitals have specializations, but you don't need to go to one of those that get and done specifically. But our healthcare is still better. That's not a point, but it literally isn't. But it literally is. The WHO ranks your healthcare 37th in the world, ours 18th. My healthcare? I'm Scottish. Also, America isn't the only country in the world with private healthcare. Using one co single country's healthcare system is fucked by government regulations, as we literally just discussed, doesn't invalidate private healthcare, and there's dozens of countries around the world that have private. For example, private healthcare in the UK absolutely outperforms the absolute shit out of the NHS. In fact, the NHS is so shit that it actually sometimes has to send patients to private hospitals because they don't have the staff or resources to accommodate them. So they instead use taxpayer money to pay an outside service to do the job for them. No, it's not your slang. Okay. Bunch of country names with numbers next to them and absolutely no words of context, words, anything else, or what that means. Care to explain or the Litigum Prosperity Index Best Healthcare Rankings? Ah, yes, the one from the WHO, the ones that gave out all the completely incorrect information about Corona and now being sued in the, gov in the ground and actually kicked out of the countries for it. I think it's, it's not though. Oh, I... But I thought US healthcare is better than UK. I mean, it is. Fast appointments, fast treatments, high efficiency rate. Primary initially for everyone is the cost, which we just discussed. Also, the WHO is owned by China. Not exactly trustworthy, that's their opinion of, of America. This very American site has our healthcare at 7, but Americans don't want it to be seen. Sales. 
And there it is, the money which you literally discussed, but you are completely ignoring it for some reason. Okay, then let's compare your energy less to my private. Let's say you have a bit of an ear infection, which can be fucking painful, trust me. You might need antibiotics or something. What process and time scales are you looking at? Funny though, you know. Do you want to say, well, I didn't have an ear infection, it took me two days to get antibiotics. I had something wrong with my ears at the start of 2021, and I don't remember, like, went to the doctor, and I was like, oh, use these eardrops. They weren't working. Went to another doctor, I was like, use these eardrops. Still weren't working. Went to another doctor, use these eardrops. Still nothing. Then, I don't remember when the appointment was actually booked. But I didn't get the appointment till like June. So six months. Um, yeah, just so you know. And as far as I know that is the NHS, I don't know if that might be private. I, I just don't know how all this works. I think the first place I went to where they gave me the year jobs, I think that's my GP. But I, I can't tell. You got a GP appointment in two days. What special GP do you have that isn't obeying current NHS guidelines and regulations? You literally have the only GP in the country that doesn't have multi-month waiting lists. In case you can't tell, I'm saying you're full of shit. Is your GP located in a village? You only has eight people. My GP is, has very few people, yes. So they gave you your pills and that was it? Damn it, Mark. I wish I had the massive balls and PP that you have the golf the call people out in the bullshit. He is in fact lying. Current current regulations don't even allow for the, for even same week appointments unless under special circumstances. And your infection doesn't fall under that. So we tried the lie. I had an earache for about a week before I reported it to my GP, and you got your pills in just just two days later. It was prescribed me two days after my appointment. Yes. So you're lying because your infections aren't treated with pills; they're treated with drops. Did you just re resort to making up a completely fake story instead of admitting that you were wrong? Ha. <laughs> It's Monday, Elon. I have news for you, Mark. Don't tell me. My ex used to complain about how great European healthcare was compared to the American. I once once watched a six year old boy whose face is literally being mauled by a dog wait six hours in an accident emergency before he got seen by a doctor. But at least it's free. You're a huge bullshit, aren't you? Nope. This happened. Without this happened, I take most pressing emergencies first. Nope. It happened. Under pressure from hundred of access employees, Twitter to platforms, Trump sitting. Oh wait. Elon, I've been stuck as giant penis for a month. It's now Monday. Let me change my name, you promised. I remember random task, Dog Devil's henchman in the Much Love Thousand awesome Parts movie. I thought it was the guy from one of the Bond films, but it's one of Sean Connery's ones. It was like he gets electrocuted to death because Sean throws a hat in like a bar or whatever. Uh, and you know, gets electrocuted to death and I'm trying to remember what his like one liner was, but so it's awesome it's awesome part of parody of that, right? Well, it turns out the angry played him has a very dark history from movie star to murderer. Thought it was kidnapping and did he kill someone too? Why not both? Ruthless Fairfax Giant. Okay, this is a legacy Fairfax Giant. It may or may not be notable. In a few moments, we will remove all legacy blue checks. The way in which they were given out was corrupt and nonsensical. Let me change my name! Fact check, you have a small penis mark because you're a racist. No hair racism makes your dick bigger. Fix it, man. Me right now. Welcome back, normal-sized dog. Small. 
Boy, I was gone for a whole month. Can't wait to check in on my favorite rapper and sneaker sales, man. Good evening to my mom, Marcus. He finally has a small penis like the rest of us. Always did. <laughs> Let us not forget. Oh, God. <laughs> Firstly, why are you looking and secondly, open the mana crypt? I won't go back. You can't make me go back. What happened to your giant penis? New from who this is back. Liam, go back to the giant penis. Oh, now he's mad because his big PP is gone. No, I'm not. He was wanting to be gone. I'm bothered, moisturized, happy in my lane, focused, flourishing. Good morning, giant penis. It's over. It's done. We can all move on with our lives and forget about the dead horse that was beaten so much over the course of a month that it could have been put straight into a Findus lasagna. My back after carrying my huge cock all day. No back problems, but no one ever talks about the job, Rob. No, the story of the longest running Logan history of Marcus's DL shall endure. How about we start using thank you as a word meaning giant penis? Every record has been destroyed or falsified, every book rewritten, every picture has been repainted, every statue and street building has been renamed, every day has been altered, and the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Okay, shut up now. I'm filming Massive Mad Lad at the end of the year with a bang out at the end of the month. Maybe one other video before that, and then that. Then after that, I rest. I love all of you, but I'm. Doing absolutely fuck all work over the holidays. Holidays, Christmas, and Hogmanay. Feel like pure shit, just want them back. 